So I had a ton of interest in this Power Pro battery draw monitor and I wanted to show you guys a quick little demonstration of how this thing works right here. So it's super simple to hook this thing up. What you want to do is just open your door and make sure you lock the latch right here so that the vehicle thinks it's fully closed up. You're going to want to wait a probably 15-30 minutes for it to fully go to sleep, all the modules to power down. And then you're going to want to connect this device and turn on your smart output before you disconnect the battery under the hood. So we've done that here, and as you can see, I've waited about 15-20 minutes to make sure everything was fully powered down, and we still have a draw here. So this is going to be a problem. 830 mega, uh, milliamps is way over our 40 milliamp rating. So what we want to do is find our draw right here, and uh, we'll know once that drops down, once we find the source of that particular draw. Now the best part about this tool is that you can connect to Bluetooth, and you can actually view your Bluetooth um, live data from this tool while you're under the hood. So you makes it so you don't need a super long cable, you don't have to pull everything out. You can simply view it from your phone while you're messing in the fuse box. So that's what we're doing here. Now this one was pretty easy and you can kind of see the issue immediately. We've got this jumper right here which comes straight from our battery positive cable and it's going into this fuse right here. And I took a look on the diagram. Now this is fuse for our cigarette lighter or our power outlet in the vehicle. Now I'm assuming the reason why they connected this is because uh, they wanted to have power all the time to that power outlet. So this is what's causing our draw. As soon as I unplug this, you'll see right there on the graph that it drops back down to nine milliamps. So we know that this is our problem. And we'll even take the fuse out of this jumper here and put the fuse back in where it goes here and I'll show you that that draw doesn't change. All right, so we pulled the fuse out of that one there and we went ahead and stuck it back in this spot right here. Let's get this guy out of the way. This doesn't cause any problems and we'll check on our draw. All right, so uh, as you can see, we've got the nine milliamps here. I already knew it was there since we have the Bluetooth graph and that's one of the coolest features about this is being able to do that Bluetooth um, you know, graphing capability and data logging. Um, you can data log with this thing overnight. So if you've got a parasitic draw like a module that's waking up at 2 a.m. and you just can't find it and you're pulling your hair out trying to figure out what's going on, this tool will definitely help you to find those type of parasitic draws, so I highly recommend it. Definitely pick one up. It's something that you got to have in your toolbox as a tech.